And uh, well, well, we're doing that, so you just have to. Oh, there he okay. is. Okay. There he is, finally. Larry, it's great to have you on the show. Morning. Morning, morning. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much. All right, you're the uh, African Boxing Union uh, welterweight champion. Uh, congratulations once again. So how did it uh, go down? I mean, 12 rounds, Joseph Lamptey really pushed you to the brink. But uh, what was going through your mind? I mean, tell us. Um, I've never been so nervous in my life to get in the ring because before the fight, I had a um, few injuries. And um, I think it, it, it would take a real soldier to actually go in the fight with them injuries. Um, the first one, I've, I had a rib fracture. Um, are you there, guys? Yeah, of course. Mm. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Please uh, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. I had a rib fracture. Uh, my left wrist was bad, and I had a bad knuckle on my right hand. But I was protecting my rib more than anything else. But in the fourth round, I hurt him, but then my right hand went. So I, as soon as I hit him, I caught him on the head. And my right hand went, so I couldn't really, I couldn't follow up. So all I was doing just try to box and just get through the rounds and just use my experience rather than trying to take him up. Because he's, whole respect to Joseph Lamptey, he didn't come down to lose. He, he had the belief that he can, he can win, the, he, he can win the fight. So, you know, it was a good fight. And, um, um, Big respect to him as well, because he came back and apologized regarding the flag thing. He was trying to get to my to my head and trying to wind me up, just like the great Muhammad Ali used to do, mm. wind his opponent up and get them to to lose um, concentration and just fight with anger. That's what that was the tactics mm. he was trying to use. But I'm not the type of person that I, I, I think I'm too calm for that sort of um, little tactics, because I know where, where exactly he's trying to do, trying to get to my head. That's why I was, that's why I was laughing in the in the in the video. If you guys can see, I, I just had a big smile on my face because I know exactly what he tried to do even before he, he started. So a lot of our fight I did that with me before. It's just I just laugh it off mm. and let my let my fist do the talking instead. Mm, fantastic. Uh, now that you've uh, won the African Boxing Union uh, a title, uh, you know, how, how is it uh, going to affect your career? Well, um, I would like to defend that in my father's land, which is Nigeria, if I had the opportunity to. So hopefully I would, I would speak with my manager and see what we can do to, 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 to defend the title. You know, um, he put me in number 15 in the world world ranking 15 in the wbc so it's a good start i can't fight for the british title i've got the the british fighters um and um there's a commonwealth um it's also the madrid for the the, uh, the final man um eliminated for the um commonwealth so there's a possibility of me fighting the commonwealth champion and he's also the it's also the um british champion so fingers crossed but to be honest, I, I would like to defend the title okay. back in Nigeria. I, I'm Larry. Um, do you think this victory um, will give you a chance probably to fight for the uh, British title, uh, get a chance to step into the ring with some of those guys um, in your division like uh, America and Kel Brooks? Do you think this um, victory has earned you that right? At the moment, I can't fight for the British title. I can only fight for the Commonwealth because I haven't got the British passport yet. I'm still working on that. Should we get that? pretty soon but um to be honest uh if i can go for the commonwealth if not i'll go for the world title because i'm i'm in the ranking with the with the um world ranking i'm in the world ranking now so there's a possibility of me up there against um a top fighter you know so um if i fight for the british it's it's it's, it's all right but if i go for the world even better so we we're right in the map at the moment. Mm. Okay, you're looking all cleaned up. It's like you didn't really take much of the punches in your head. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even get caught, to be honest. Um, I just, as, as I said earlier, have you seen the clip? Have you seen any of the video at all of the fight? We've seen some. We've seen, seen some. some, yeah, some, seen some, some. Video. You, you know, but people will, judge. yeah, people will say, you know, twelve rounds. I mean, you could have just. Ended it perhaps after five or six rounds, you know, make a statement. 
You didn't have to wait that long, but that long. Yeah, there's yeah, no. There's it is no, what it is. No, there's no extra. There's no extra extra time in um in boxing, and they don't pay you extra for for doing the whole twelve round. <laughs> the whole plan was to, to take him up, and obviously he touched the flag. You don't you don't disrespect my flag, you know. That's I know I promise to punish him, but um with the injury that I had and. And putting out a performance like that as well, I think I deserve a big credit for my. I need to to, to pat myself on the back <laughs> for that. Yeah. Um, I hurt I hurt him a few times, but I couldn't really follow up because I know I will I will I will end up um injuring myself even more. And if you find out, he will try to like um do anything to win, you know. Um. Yeah. We'll see anyway, to be honest. I, I, I just think um, I could have took him out, but my hand, the injury didn't let me. So um, win is win. And also, his experience, that's my first 12 rounds. So that's good for me as well to just um, see how I can, how I feel to do 12 rounds with a, with a tough opponent like that. And I felt like I haven't even, I haven't even started warming up yet. Mm. So even doing the 12 rounds. So I trained for it. And um, I train, I train with uh, Jose, the the master planner himself. Um, he was helping me out, and my trainer as well. You know. Mm -hmm. All right, interesting, interesting one, and uh, definitely we hope that uh, you get uh, more fights. And uh, who knows, uh, you dream of bringing a, a, a fight to, uh, to Nigeria to that's Nigeria, to defend. Too. Yeah, definitely will happen, and I'm sure all the authorities uh, here concerned are taking note of all of that. Well, thank you so much again for spending time with us, Larry. Uh, before, before, before I come up, can I please <laughs> um, say a big um, shout out to Harry here for the support? Okay, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure they, I'm sure, I'm sure they've gotten the message, uh, Larry. Definitely, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All the, all the guys that helped you, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we, they will definitely uh, be appreciative because we won't have much time uh, to right. talk about that. Thank you. All right, thank you so much once again. Okay. Big ups to you. All right, thank you. All right, all right. Okay. Well, <laughs> a lot of interesting things he said, mm. and. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, uh, he gets his name on those prestigious titles, mm -hmm. WBC, that's WBO, what we want to see. Yeah. IBF, you know, WBC, yeah. WBC, ah, exactly. That's, that's WBC, that's WBA, you know, it's not easy. those I think prestigious. That's, I mean, after the mm -hmm. with, I'm starting to come away with after the come away He's gradually working on his way, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know. It's a gradual uh, process, you know, yeah. Uh, you know, I was thinking since he stayed in Britain all the mm. while, it's, you know, all his pro I career. Uh, maybe they have their rules, but, uh, but I'd just love to see him, you know, there's something in boxing about territory. Mm. You know, I'd like to see him dominate w w where he's, you know, his base. Where his base, okay. Knock out some of those people. But, but, but let's move on, let's move <laughs> on. Sure, we're pressed for time, so I right. uh, really have to move on. All right, let's um, take you to um, one of the matches played uh, in the Nigeria Professional Football League, Week 36 matches played. So uh, we'll allow you to enjoy it and we'll come back for more an interesting match between Giwa and Atlanta. 